Greetings, true believers, and welcome to another spine-tingling episode of History of the Marvel Universe, where this week we look at the origin of Swarm, the Nazi scientist who's made of bees. First appearing in Champions number 14 and 15 in 1977, Swarm was once a man named Fritz von Meyer, a Nazi who had fled to the jungles of South America following World War II. Von Meyer spent his time here researching the local bees until one day he came upon a hive unlike any he had seen before. Investigating further, the former Nazi discovered that the bees exhibited signs of intelligence much higher than normal, and theorized it was related to the high levels of radioactivity in the area caused by a recent meteor shower. He also suspected that if he could find a way to control the swarm, he could breed enough of them to conquer the world and set about crafting a device to do just that. However, Von Meyer's plot backfired, and upon bathing the hive in the rays of his device, the bees attacked, ripping through his protective suit and consuming the man's flesh. But then, something unexpected happened. Although his body was gone, Von Meyer's consciousness was transferred into the swarm. He had, in effect, become the swarm. However, Interpol had been watching Von Meyer, and one agent successfully captured the queen of the mutated bee swarm, encasing her in amber and escaped to America. But the villainous swarm followed the agent to Los Angeles where he drowned him with deadly bees. However, the queen's amber prison had been placed in a container coated in a chemical compound, preventing the swarm's hive body from touching it. The sinister scientist left the case and the corpse where both were found by members of the Los Angeles-based super team, the Champions. The Champions brought the case containing the Queen Bee back to their headquarters, where they were attacked by Swarm and a veritable army of killer bees. Having prepared a countermeasure to the case's protective coating, Swarm acquired the Queen Bee's Amber Prison. Then, one of the champions, named Darkstar, unwilling to see an innocent creature trapped, used her power to free the queen. Once freed from the amber, the queen bee quickly grew to mammoth size. However, the champion Hercules was able to take the massive bee down and threw her body out to sea. This caused the bees making up Swarm's body to rush off after her, leaving behind the decayed skeleton of Fritz von Meyer. Following this, Swarm's remains were brought to Empire State University in New York for study. However, it turns out another Queen Bee remained dormant inside Von Meyer's skull, and when Dr. Sloan of ESU attempted to analyze the skeleton, his equipment caused the Queen to reawaken and rapidly begin reproducing, quickly restoring Swarm's body. This time, Swarm was defeated by Spider-Man with the use of a powerful repellent developed by Dr. Sloan and the brilliant students at ESU. However, this wasn't the end for the villainous Nazi bees, as Swarm would continue to regenerate and return several times over the years. And that's all for this week. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like, leave a comment, and share it on your favorite social media. As always, the issues referenced in this video are listed in the description below if you would like to read them for yourself, along with links to my various social medias, including the Discord server where you can join the discussion with other friends, followers, and fans of the show. So until next time, true believers, Excelsior!